examples of answered prayers to show that God answers prayer. All we need to do is to acquaint ourselves with those examples so that we can know how to approach God to get answers to our prayers. This morning, let's look at two of them. How do I know when my prayer is answered? When you have prayed with your heart. When you have prayed with your heart. Because the content of your heart matters much more than the words of your mouth in prayers. We have the example of Hannah, for instance, 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 13 to 15, of 13 and 15. Now, Hannah, she speak in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not her. Therefore, Eli thought that she was drunk. And Eli said, How long will thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I'm a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I've drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I've poured out my soul before the Lord. And God had what she said in her heart and her son came. God remembered Hannah. And she called him Samuel because I have asked him of the Lord. How? We didn't hear you. No, God heard me. Man looks on the altar, but God looks into the heart. So when your heart is not there, your prayer cannot be answered. For I, the Lord, I search the heart and I try the reins to give to everyone according to what I find in their heart. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, I mean 17 verse 10. So it is the content of our heart that God responds to not the loudness of our voice not the very fine grammar that we, we speak the content of our heart so when we engage our heart we are committing God to respond to our prayers in Isaiah 26 and verse 9, with my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee. Ali, for when thy judgment are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. When I seek thee with my spirit within me, I am sure of answers coming from you. So the few days we have remaining, engage your heart. Don't mind your grammar, mind your heart. <laughs> Don't mind your posture. Oh God, I just love you. Oh my God. Nobody is taking your picture. <laughs> No, but what you need is answer. And he said, if you don't engage your heart, you won't get one. He said, therefore, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Everything that comes through in your life came through your heart. If your heart is out of place, your possession is not in view. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. The psalmist said, When thou said, Seek my face, my heart says, Thy face, O God, will I seek. Psalm 27 and verse 8. Thy face, O God, will I seek. When thou said, Seek my face, my heart, my heart, 
My heart said, Thy face, O God, when I seek. This is vital. You shall seek for me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. The only way you will find is to seek me with all your heart. Absent heartedness and prayer will be praying in futility. You won't find. You won't find. I can find. The world cannot be broken. This woman who had been assaulted with mockery, with slanders, all kind, poured her soul to God. Returned with her somewhere. Hannah spoke with her heart. Only her lips moved. Her voice was not heard. But heaven heard. But heaven heard. That's how to maximize the few days remaining. Engaging your heart on the altar of prayer. You are sure to return with your testimonies. In James chapter 5, verse 16 and 17. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Amplifier puts it this way. The heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, which is dynamic in its working. Heart fed, heart born, heart projected prayer makes tremendous power available which turns your prayers to testimonies. Amen. So it has to be from the heart before the heaven can respond. Your prayer has to be from the heart. My prayer has to be from the heart for us to enjoy the response of the Father. Finally, number two, when you have prayed in the spirit. That's why everybody needs to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because praying in the Holy Ghost is one of the platforms that guarantees answers. How? Romans 8, 26 and 27. The Bible says, Likewise, the spirit also helps our infirmity. For we know not what we should pray as we ought. What? Not how. What? We don't even know where the attack is coming. We don't know what we should pray as we ought. But the Spirit itself make an intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Verse 27, And he that searches the heart, that's the Holy Spirit, knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for us according to the will of God. So, you engage your heart and you are praying in the Holy Ghost, you are praying according to the will of God. And we know that when we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If you know that he hears us, then we know that we have received our petition which we have asked of him. First John 5, 14 and 15. So you can be praying the Spirit without your heart. That won't it won't be anything. You are not communicating. You are not connecting. There is no network. Praise God. But when you are praying with your heart and you switch to praying in the Holy Ghost, you are praying according to the will of God that commits God's integrity to respond. With these two instructions, expect the best from your prayer altar this week. This is day two of module six of the three-day module. After two days, he will revive us. 
on the third day, you will raise us up. Stand to your feet. Lift up your two hands to heaven and receive grace to apply these instructions. There is no point posing. There is no point taking a posture that shows that you are as a prayer giant. What you need is answers. You don't need human accolade. You need answers. You need answers. Hannah was mistaken for being drunk. What you need is answers. What you need is answers. What I need is answers. Please lift up your two hands. Receive grace to engage your heart from henceforth in your prayer life. Receive grace to engage your heart from henceforth. No more posing. No more trying to decorate your grammar. What you need is answers. What I need is answers. Without engaging your heart, God cannot hear. No network. You are not connecting. I'm not connecting. Receive that grace, everybody. Begin to demand your visitation. I must be visited this week. I must be visited this week. And as he prayed, the fashion of his continent was altered. And a voice came from the Lord. It is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Hear ye him. Hear ye him. My level of spiritual authority must change. My level of spiritual authority must change. Help me to maximize this time. Not sleeping away in prayers. Not wondering what you are praying. Not being able to tell what you have prayed after you have prayed. That's not life. That's not the way it's meant to be. That's not the way it's meant to be. You can't ask Hannah, what did you pray? And they can't tell. No. 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 The man who is saying for me to hear you pray with your heart. Pray with your heart. I can't hear you without you engaging your heart. I cannot hear you without you engaging your heart. That's what the man who is saying. Lord, help me to engage my heart all through the many days of this fast so as to maximize your agenda for my life as you set the stage for my breaking limit realm in the year 2020. So help me, Lord. Lift up those two hands, everybody, and speak to the day. This is no casual day. It's your day of practical engagement. Your day of practical engagement on the altar of prayer. Now, lift up those two hands and speak to the day. Seize the day right now. Seize the day. Seize the day right now. And seize the day. 